Hi guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today we're going to be making keftedes. Those are just Greek meatballs. They're delightful, delicious, and really easy to make. You're going to need some olive oil for frying them, some, a little bit of all-purpose flour for dredging them, one, an, an egg yolk with a little bit of milk, some finely chopped onions and bell pepper and garlic that I've processed in the food processor, a little bit of salt, a little freshly ground black pepper, crushed red pepper flakes of course, a little bit of dried oregano, some shredded Parmesan cheese, some ground beef, breadcrumbs, and freshly chopped parsley. That's it. That's all you're going to need. It's really simple. We're just going to start mixing these and putting everything together while my oil gets ready and heats up to about 360, de 360 degrees. Um, I don't have a thermometer or anything like that. I kind of, I do the wooden skewer test and if you've watched my french fries, uh, the way I made my chicken with chicken stew with french fries, it's, I just kind of stick the skewer in there and if it bubbles up then it's ready. We're going to put, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. We're going to put the spices and the seasoning in. Okay, so I, I processed my onion, garlic and bell pepper and then I put it in a bowl lined with um, paper towel and that's just to catch any of the excess water so that way our um, geftedes, our meatballs are very flavorful not kind of watered down because we're going to get, oh, yep our oil is ready. We're going to get moisture from the milk and the egg. We don't need too much moisture and I'm going to use my hands right about now because this is kind of frustrating. Your clean hands are your best, best tool. So I'm going to beat my egg and my milk and pour it over here. And you can get the whole recipe with the measurements and everything on DimitriDishes.com. You could definitely, I'm using 100% um, beef in this, ground beef. You can use half lamb, half beef, or just all lamb. Um, I had beef on hand, so that's why I'm using beef, but lamb is really nice in this dish. It makes it even a little bit lighter. Okay, so I'm mixing this up. So ideally you want to make this mix even the night before or the morning of and let it kind of sit and rest in your fridge covered with saran wrap after you're done mixing it for at least an hour or overnight if you're making it the night before. That just really helps the flavors all come together and marry and you know the, re the meat gets to rest a little bit and they'll be even more yummy but Right now, I don't really have that much time, so I'm just going to make them as soon as I'm done mixing them. And they should be just fine, but if you have time and you're going to make these and you're going to be really, really prepared, then that's the best way to do them. Let it rest for, you know, at least an hour in your fridge and they'll be super, super good. Okay, so I'm going to shape them into little balls. And it's totally up to you if you want to make them small or a little bit bigger. As long as they're round, they'll be fine. So I take a little bit at a time, like a little bit bigger than, it's kind of like golf ball size. That's the size I like to do. Kind of pop them in here. I'm going to do a few at a time. So what I'm going to do is just stick my skewer in here. And if bubbles come up in a steady stream, then your oil is ready. So if you have a thermometer, go ahead and check the temperature and make sure it's between, you know, 360 and 370 degrees. So I'm just going to dust these in flour and put them in here and shake off the excess, okay? You don't want it to be a lot of whole bunch of flour on these. They're going to take anywhere between 6 to 10 minutes to cook. Um, they're going to get nice and golden brown and they'll, they should be completely cooked inside as well and you'll know when they're ready when they're nice and golden and you don't want to overcrowd your pan okay so put a few in at a time maybe eight at a time if you have a big pan like I do okay so I'm just gonna flip them over And wait another 
about four minutes and then they should be completely done. I'll show you how I serve them. So I'm gonna take my last batch out. So I'm going to taste one because I can't resist. Everyone who knows me knows that I avoid frying things like the plague. Don't like to fry for health reasons, plus splatters everywhere makes a big mess. But these are absolutely worth it. They're so, so yummy, so good. I'm gonna try and take one that's not burning hot, or maybe two, these two right here. They're kind of small too. Here they are. Go on the website, www.demetrasdishes.com. Tell everyone you know about my channel so we can teach everyone how to cook one recipe at a time, right? Put this on the side. This is completely delicious with tzatziki sauce, and I'll post the recipe of that pretty soon. That's what this white creamy sauce is. I'm gonna take some, put it on the side. Look at that, look at the inside. It's so juicy. So good. Smells so fresh and delicious and really light. Mmm. Seriously, I could eat that whole plate. It's so good. Go on the website, get the recipe, make these, post, rest, post pictures. I like to see who. I love to see your creations, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.